Okay guys, so I'm going to need a few things for this look. I'm going to use the 541 Candy Gel, which is a very pretty pink. I'm also going to use a white gel from Candy. This is in 530, and it's like the brightest white ever. This thing is, like, my camera can't even handle it. Poor thing. I'm also using a Born Pretty powder. It looks white, but it has a neon pink shift, which is beautiful. Really gonna spice things up with this look. Now I have three different brushes. One to buff the pigment, one for the pink, and one for the white. Now I'm also going to use a silicone applicator for the pigment. This is a cheap one I got on AliExpress, and I will link everything down below for you guys. I'm also using a just a plain white cosmetic sponge. Um, I'm going to do a gradient just like with nail polish, but there's a trick to it. So. Um, the last thing, of course, you're really going to need is a no-wipe top coat because we are working with pigments. So this is going to adhere and keep everything in place for you. So I'm going to go ahead and apply one coat of this, and that's the pink shade, and I'm going to pop it into the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm back. I'm doing a second coat of that pink shade, so that way we can have it a little bit more opaque it's really going to make all the difference with this look. We need it to be flush from the, with a transition from the white to the pink shade. So after I apply this, I'm popping it right back into the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to grab that white and that sponge. I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to paint a little bit of the white gel on the very edge of that cosmetic sponge, just like you would with nail polish. But there's a trick to this. Since gel is a little bit harder to work with when it comes to gradients, I'm going to apply it like I would with a nail polish by just patting the tip of my nail. I'm just building up a little bit of uh, color here. And then I'm going to take the very back part of the sponge and pat right along the edge where the white and the pink meet. It's going to kind of diffuse that harsh line. I'm popping it back into the lamp for 60 seconds. Back again, it's gonna be the same thing, guys. I wanna build up a little bit more of that opacity with the white. So I'm painting a little bit more on that sponge and I'm gonna pat it right on that same area that I've already applied the white. And then using the back part of the sponge or the other end, I'm going to diffuse that harsh line. Like seriously, this works like a charm. Now, sometimes you might take away too much white, which is what I did here. So I just added a little bit more and I'm just gonna pat. When I'm satisfied, I'm gonna pop it right back into the lamp for 60 seconds. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a top coat. This is the No Wipe Top Coat from Color Lead. After I apply this, I'm going to pop it right back into the lamp. You know the drill by this point for 60 seconds. You know, actually, I think for Halloween, this would be really fun with orange and black, like the same type of idea. I'm going to do the same thing to the other nails off camera, just because it's gonna save on time. So now everything's got the top coat, we're good to go with the pigment. So this is that Born Pretty pigment. And I try to see if my camera can make this um, a little bit more real <laughs> or realistic looking, but the exposure just, it couldn't handle it, but it's gorgeous. So I'm taking the 
pigment with the applicator and I'm putting it all over where the white is. And here's the trick with this. It's not going all over the entire nail. I really wanted to add kind of a classic look, but again, I wanted to spice things up. So after I apply this to where all of the white is, I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush that's clean and I'm going to diffuse that pigment powder. So you can kind of see the pigment powder there. I'm just gonna diffuse it. And that way it's not gonna have a harsh line. So that way it looks like it's a gradient right along with that white. Now when my neighbor saw my nail, she literally grabbed my hand the other day and, and pulled it up to her face. Cause she was like, what, what's on your nails? And um, I thought that was kind of funny, but I really like this look a lot. I'm gonna do the same thing just like I did with my thumb on all of my other fingers, of course. Just use a silicone applicator, rub it in and stop where the white and the pink meet. And then you take a brush that's clean and you just kind of diffuse and buff around so that way it really does have a nice kind of fade to it. Now I went ahead and put um, the top coat on my nails as well, or at least that's what I'm getting ready to do here. So you want to protect it because the pigment powder, if you touch anything, I mean it might get scratched or come off. So I went ahead and put the top coat on it to kind of keep everything in place for it um, to be a nice smooth look. And that way I don't have to worry about being a klutz. Um, because I am, I'm a huge klutz and I would destroy them if I didn't protect them. So that is the finished look, guys. This was incredibly easy. If you go to do a gradient using a sponge, always use the back edge to try and like fade it and just work with one color at a time. It makes things a lot easier. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day.